Hey you guys and welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm coming back to you with your weekly uh, energy and we're now on Gemini. Alrighty Gemini, so let's see what Spirit has to say to you for your weekly energy. What do you need to hear and what do you need to know for this week? This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Spirits, Ancestors, Guides, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, and Holy Angels. What's the message, please, for Gemini? This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. What do they need to hear and what do they need to know this week? Okay. This is for Gemini. Oh, two came out. Okay. Ooh. <clears throat> okay, Gemini's. You are very, very spiritual, like spiritual and quiet this week. Like there's an energy of you're trying to almost like zen out. Like you want to get your emotions under control. You're focusing more on spirituality. You may be doing yoga is what I'm getting this week or some type of meditation. You may be praying more. You may be talking to your guides or talking to a higher power. You may be talking to God more this week. Yeah, some of you are maybe going to like some type of teacher or guru. Um, some of you may be seeing a psychic or looking at this tarot reading for answers, looking at other tarot readers for answers and guidance. I feel like it, there's just this energy of you wanting to better yourself. And I'm getting this. Some of you could be finding peace through cooking. Some of you could be cooking a lot this week or some of you are chefs and you work in a kitchen is what I'm getting. Some of you could be um, going out into nature and hiking this week and spending time in nature for you. It's like a spiritual experience. It's like you get to clear your mind, get away from everyone. Some of you are doing rituals in, like in nature. Some of you are Wiccan, Wiccan religion. Some of you just believe in nature, like uh, Native Americans. You know how they believe in the earth and things that come from the earth. That's what I feel very, very strongly. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I was getting a lot of energy just now. We have the Six of Wands. So yeah, you want to be successful and victorious. A lot of you are tired of being left out in the cold, five of pentacles. You may have gone through a rough time financially and now you're ready for stability or you're coming into stability um, with your finances. You're, you went through a rough time financially recently is what I'm getting. We have the uh, temperance card. So definitely tempering out your, your emotions learning how not to be angry or explode on people. Yeah, with that temperance card there, you're having more patience with other people and with yourself. We have the hermit here focusing more on the inner man. Yeah, a lot of wisdom, I feel. You're gaining a lot of wisdom. And then the empress, the empress. Oh, some of you are in empress energy. I don't take that as a mistake. And then we have the high priestess here is what I meant to say for this card. The high priestess, very spiritual energy. Yeah, some of you are really coming into this place of knowing who you are. Why is this energy here for Geminis? For Geminis. Why is this energy here for Geminis? Oh, the high priestess wanted to come out again. Ooh. What was that? Oh, the Four of Pentacles. Mm, some of you may be holding on to someone from your past. You you also may be holding back your, like I said, you're trying to control your temper. The Hermit, please, and then the High Priestess. Yeah, 
Queen of Cups is here. So some of you could be dealing with emotions. Yeah, you're trying to balance your emotions. Some of you may be trying to figure out how to speak to a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Yeah, you're trying to figure out how to talk to a water sign. We have the Page of Wands, which means <clears throat> communication. We also have the Page of Pentacles, which is communication. So yeah, some of you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius as well, who you're praying for. You're praying for this person. Yeah. We have the four of pentacles. Yeah. So with the temperance card. So yeah, I feel like you are, sorry, I'm saying yeah a lot. I feel like you are trying to control your temper or, or keep your emotions under control. Some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius as well is what I'm getting. Yeah. Some type of fire sign. Queen of wands is here with the high priestess. Hmm. Is this energy like you're praying for someone? You're either you're praying for yourself this week or you're praying for someone. Like you're wishing someone well. That's what I'm getting. It's like you're wishing someone well, even though they're moving on from you. Some of you are hoping to get this person back in your life. This doesn't have to just be about love. This could be a friend, a family member. You're hoping to heal something, like hoping that the two of you can be friends or have a decent relationship. With the Hermit card, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So yeah, you're definitely working on yourself this week, okay? You're really working on your inner man and really praying and consecrating yourself and really trying to heal some turbulent emotions that you've been experiencing. I feel like financially you you're coming up, you're doing well, but your your inner man, your soul, your spirit, you're trying to really focus on working on yourself and becoming a better person. And some of you could be focusing on a a water sign or a fire sign. And you're really praying that you can talk to this person and you're trying to figure out how to do so. Maybe there was a, a breakup or maybe there was a, a falling out of some sort. Okay. So that's the energy that I'm getting for you, Gemini's. Have a great week. Bye.